I did just have to start this video over so that I can get my words together. I'm going to wait till it says it started, but I already know it started, but hold on. So today is September 30th, 2021, and it's the last day of the federal fiscal year, which means that the bills need to be paid. So the United States is in a large amount of debt, so the government most likely will shut down in October, which October starts tonight at midnight, obviously. It's going to be October 1st. Um, so the bill, the clean house bill did pass for the House of Representatives. So now the bill is going to the Senate, which Republicans already said that if the bill has anything to do with raising the um, debt ceiling, they will not pass it which that's what the bill is, is raising the debt ceiling so that the United States can pay the bills that are due on time in the United States. So the bill is until December of 2022, but like I said, the Republicans already said they were going to vote no to raising the debt ceilings. So what is happening is the fact that Basically, the world is about to shut, well, not the world, the world, but most of the world, because most of the world is under government assistance. So if the government shuts down, first of all, that means that Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security benefits, uh, retirement pays, uh, military, federal facilities, federal government facilities, all of those things will be shut down because they're all part of the government. So you will not be getting child tax credit um, payments. You will not get most likely tax refund payments if the government is shut down throughout all of this time. And that is why the bills need to be paid because if the bills aren't paid, that means the government can't be in session, basically. So while we're facing a government shutdown, we're also facing for the first time in the US history, um, a government default, which is a cap on the debt that we're under that needs to be paid. So a lot of people aren't living in the true reality of the fact that we are all one nation under God. That means the United States, um, Africa, Russia, uh, Australia, Antarctica, um, the UK, all of the things, all the things, all of the people on this planet, we are all one nation under God, even though we have been divided into categories, into races, into um, nationalities, and all of those kind of things, religions, all these kind of things that the human mind made up for everyone. Ultimately, we are all one nation under God, and we're all equal. So, the bigger source of who we're in debt to is whatever is the biggest thing which is a one world nation one world order type of thing which that's why we will end up being in a one world order so i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all the news of what's happening but i'm also telling y'all from my point of view and my standing and my knowledge and my you know power what's happening and what's going on so like i said the house passed the bill the clean bill to um allow the government to spend however much they need to spend to get our bills paid until December of 2022. But for the bill to go into place and the president can sign it, the House has, I mean, the senators, the House of Senate, I mean, the Senate, yeah, the Senate, <laughs> they have to pass the bill as well, which means it needs 60 votes when it gets to the Senate, which means that at least 10 of the Republicans have to vote yes, and also all of the Democrats, which the first bill being passed in um, the House, one Democrat voted no to, I mean, a few Democrats voted no to it, and one Republican voted yes to it. So for the Senate, Republicans already basically said they are not going to pass a bill about raising the debt ceiling. Which if they do not pass this bill, that means the government is going to shut down ultimately and which isn't always forever, but I'm just saying. Um, and that the debt, the default of debt is gonna happen as well, which means that, like I was saying, basically it's like, it's like what we all talk about, the 
it's gonna be a shutdown. It's gonna be really bad. It's really bad, and no one is probably taking it as serious as it needs to be because we're not living in harmony on the same reality and in the same plane. So if the government shut down and if the default happens, which it's a topic of conversation because it's more than likely going to happen. And it all lines up with the time that we're in. We're in the 20s. History repeats itself. It's in the Bible. We're going to have a, a recession, a Great Depression, um, stock market crash, um, food shortage. We're going to have all the things that in the media... People have been calling them conspiracy theorists and everything. All the things that have been talked about, it is going to happen. Because, first of all, spiritually, we're in a simulation. And, you know, like I said, history repeats itself. It's, a, it's all a cycle. We're going to go through the things that we learned about in history class. And technically, it's just a test to see if we listened in our life. If we took our lives serious. And all that kind of stuff. The, the government and the, the, the higher people that are higher because the world told them they were higher and they put themselves higher in the world, they're not looking at it in, this, in the aspect of how spiritual it is because everyone lives in their own realities instead of the true reality of what's actually happening. But I live in the true reality of actually what's happening, what's going on, and it's way more spiritual. Same way... The so-called apocalypse, the picture that you get for apocalypse and zombies and all that kind of stuff, people gave you the picture of it to where it desensitizes you from the fact of the matter that, yes, all of this stuff is going to happen. No, it is not going to look the way that it looks on TV, the way that they act it out and give it in visual visualizations. It's not going to look like that. So while we're going through this recession, just like in the 1920s when the Great Depression happened, when, um, and all of that time, I'm not just meaning 1920, like it's 2020 right now. I mean like the whole decade of everything that happened, which if y'all listened in school, y'all know the stock market crashed, inflation, inflation went up, um, unemployment went up, people didn't have jobs, people couldn't feed their families. The world was a SHIT show. I'm not going to cuss. Um, so the debt ceiling not being, um, raised will cause the government to not be able to pay, um, child, like I said, child tax credit law, I mean, um, payments, um, social security payments, um, so for millions of families and ma millions of seniors, they will not have a way of making a living. If they, they obviously, if they needed that that whole time, they didn't have a way of making a living. So if they don't get on their stuff and figure out how to, because not every business in the world is through the government. The government is to help. It's human resources. Human resources. And humans aren't what we think we are. We're not what we think we are what the majority of people think us humans are. They barely even think what we are. They don't even care. They don't never think about that. But we are not what we think we are. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, raising the debt ceiling gives the government freedom to pay the bills we already have, but not to create new payments. So the fact of the matter is that all of this is going to happen. It's kind of hard to explain. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to do your own research. I'm giving you. I'm giving you like bullet points so that you are aware of the fact that we are about to be in at least a mild re recession. At least like when COVID happened. Go get you some tissue. Go get you some water. Go get you them essential things that you're gonna need in your household and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you are living in a place where you have to pay rent and all of this kind of stuff, like. Research the Great Depression. Research that whole 1920s to 1930s era, a little bit after and a little bit before. What is happening has happened before. 
Um, but yeah, and if you have Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, all of that kind of stuff, if you're in the military, your contractors, um, federal employees, retiring, I um, mean, retire, retirees, is that how you say it? Yeah. So you're retiring, you get paid a retirement plan, basically. Um, all of that is going to stop. Everything that has to do with the government is going to stop when the government shuts down. So... If in life, which almost a lot of us, all of us do, basically, you depend on the government for anything. If you depend on the government for money for food, if you depend on the government to not pay um, as much as you would for your bills or as much as you would for your rent, rent um, if you depend on the government for anything, if you anything in your life is revolved around government assistance, that all is going to... It's going to be washed out. The government's going to go bye-bye. They're going to go live their lives however they're going to live their lives. But the government of the job of the government is not going to be happening. So a lot of people, a lot of families, millions of families are going to be SOL, S-H-I-T, out of luck. Like I said, I'm not going to cuss. And I'm not going to cuss because what I'm saying, I want this to be able to be reaching a lot of people. So I'm going to keep it a little bit professional, keep it cute, you know. Um, but the Secretary um, of the tre Treasury, Treasury Secretary and the Congressional Budget Office, um, they all basically said that they know in October the government is going to go through a default. The government is going to go through a shutdown. Everything's going to happen. So basically what it is is we're telling y'all this because it's going to happen. And like last time when we told y'all, well, not we because I didn't tell y'all that, but when they told us, that, oh, go get the tissue, go get water, go get this, go be prepared because, you know, stuff's going down, stuff like it's happening. And a lot of people didn't take it serious. A lot of people didn't take it serious. And then all of a sudden one day they was going to go buy some tissue at Walmart, going to go buy some water, and they saw all the shelves was out of stock and they couldn't get no tissue, they couldn't get no water, they couldn't get nothing. Because they didn't take the precautions, they didn't listen to the precautions that they was hearing all over the internet, in the news, on the daily roads, in the streets of life. It's happening. We are going through a very catastrophic time. If you don't know what catastrophic mean, please go look that up. Oh my God. Like I said, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice and keep it cute and professional though. Um, so basically what I want y'all to know I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep, I'm putting my own words. I've been trying to read off this little note thing. I've been taking my notes. Y'all know I'll be taking all my notes, all my notes, all my notes. But I didn't practice it, so I'm going to just tell y'all off my head. So for me personally, I don't know how, I don't know exactly why, but I know for a fact that God gave me a gift and for some reason, that gift was extra illuminated during um, COVID-19 um, in 2020. It got super, like, it started getting super strange. But now, it's 2021, a year of going through it, a year of processing it. I understand what was happening to me, and I understand my place in the world. So in the world, like I said, we need to get on the same level of reality. In the world, we are spiritual beings. We come from a higher source. Our souls enter this world at the time of our birth, on the day that we were born. Some people believe that, um, you know, we were inside our mom's stomach for, for months and that our souls was inside of there as well. But that is actually not all the way, always what happened. Our bodies, the bodies that we inhabit right now, were being made in our mom's stomach for those amount of months yes when we were born and that is exactly why on your birth certificate it has the specific time of when you were born it should that is why it's important that's why in any numerology thing any type of thing um spiritual you put it in it's gonna ask you for your birth chart it's gonna ask you for your birthday the time of birth everything because that is when you entered this world as a spirit um you took your first breath of oxygen um we're all spiritual beings. 
And if we were to put it in a movie so that you could visualize it, it would be one of those supernatural movies where people have wings and people have tails and all of this kind of stuff to give you the idea that we are magical. We are celestial beings. It is magical. It is miracles. It is infinite possibilities all around us at all times. But we are here and we are grounded in the spiritual realm, the lower realm, um, because we are here to learn a lesson. We are here to experience things as a collective and learn a collective lesson of whatever it is that we're gonna learn. So on top of that, individually, we all have our God-given talents, our God-given abilities, and our God-given missions that will play that will play the role that the collective needs. We're all a piece of the puzzle and the pig the bigger picture will not happen if all of the pieces of the puzzle aren't where they need to be, turn how they need to be turned, and strategically placed exactly where they need to be so that it all fits together as it should. So, that is exactly why it's important for people to, well, the first time it was important when we were in quarantine for people to stay in the house, people to meditate, people to get in tune with themselves, people to reconnect with their families, and all of that kind of stuff, because essentially individually it's going to matter individually survival of the fittest but collectively unity harmony peace love and all of that is what's going to make us bigger what's going to rise us up to a bigger vibration to a higher vibration to the second coming of jesus to the second coming of christ you know it's it's not it's not black and white how people think about the Bible. It's not black and white how people think about religion. It's not it's it's really not about religion. It's really not about race. It's really not about what it's going to seem like it's about. You have to you have to have a a deeper understanding, a deeper meaning. First of all, the first thing for sure, I'm going to make another video. It's going to be in a separate video that I get in, in, in tune with every single thing that I'm talking about right now spiritually. But it's angel numbers. Angel numbers. Numbers is... Love and numbers are the, 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 the frequencies, are the vibrations, are the universal languages of us, of our infinity and beyond type of thing. Like I said, I'm, about, I'm actually... Really, I'm about to make that video right now. I'm going to get off this video and go to my other page and make the second video. And then I'm going to put both of these videos on YouTube. So depending on where you're at, if you're on Facebook or if you're on YouTube, it's going to be on the opposite ones. Um, but it's very important for everyone to get in tune. It's very important for people to be grounded. It's very important for people to have strong minds. It's very important, like I said in a few videos a few weeks ago, however long that ago that was, training your body how to fast is important right now mind over everything is important right now our biggest power is our brain so like i was saying about something about the apocalypse and how i said it's not going to look how they put it in the movies first of all there are going to be it's, it's a spiritual war this war it's about to be a war is spiritual good against evil and evil people from my point of view, the evil people are going to be the people, I don't know, I'm not going to say, I don't know, I don't know if I want to say what I want to say, but from the point of view to how I'm perceiving everything, the, the bad people, the bad people are going to be the ones trying to get, kill the good people. So in the movies, they make it seem like the zombies are like the bad ones because the zombies, the picture of the zombies, think about it. They are decaying, yet they are moving around and going around. Now, in the movies, they're killing people and doing all that bad stuff, but I think that's the human mind making it bad. Like I said, the bad people, majority of the world is going to be bad. So that is exactly why I'm saying what I'm saying. Majority of the war world is on the bad side at the moment. So anytime you see a majority of people trying to kill someone who was good, <clears throat> I guess I'm not really supposed to be saying this. But just, I'm going to just say, they killed Jesus. The human people killed, killed human Jesus, who human Jesus had reached enlightenment and was trying to warn the other humans who had no connection to source of what was going on and what they needed to be doing and what the reality of our lives was. They killed him 
the first time because as as celestial beings we are not going to technically die our souls aren't going to die unless god unless god takes your evil soul and that's a whatever the crates to have or whatever you know dissipates whatever is the the d word that i'm thinking about right now i'm pretty sure somebody out there know that but basically destroys and that's not the one i'm talking about destroys your soul then the first death is of these physical bodies that our mothers grew in her 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 belly and her womb before we entered you know it that's the first death and that's what the, the that's what the Bible talks about for the first death. If you get eternal life, if God gives you the saving and the um, salvation of another life, which is your soul being able to enter His kingdom of heaven, the spiritual realm, and to come back, that is the second death. So, dang this stuff is, is so deep when you try to put it into words because i understand it in my head perfectly fine i understand it in everything that i've been going through everything that i've sat back and let just teach me that's why that's why a quiet mind quiet mind allowing your mind allowing things to happen allowing things to to happen inside of you keeping busy to distract your mind from the things your mind is going to think about when you have a quiet surrounding, when you have a quiet mind and everything. Which a quiet mind doesn't mean that your mind is quiet. Your your mind is never quiet. Your mind is always thinking. The thoughts in your head will never stop. But a quiet mi mind is giving it the room to just do what it's going to do and not, not, hmm, not interrupt it. Because there's more than, not more than one voice, but like it, there's more than one system of thoughts that go on in your head at the same time. Same way the things that come out of your mouth isn't going to be what come, what's in your head all the time. Same way when you're in a situation, what you are thinking and what you say and what you do all are three different things. The mind, the body, and the soul. The mind, the body, and the soul. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna make my angel numbers video. So if you wanna know about the angel numbers and how I'm about to tell you, and I'm not gonna be telling you specific angel numbers. Well, I am gonna drop some angel numbers, yes, and what they mean. But I'm gonna tell you the significance of angel numbers and why they are important in this life. And why when everything happens, how it's gonna happen and how it's gonna play out with this government and the world and the new earth. It's going to be important for you to know the significance of numbers. But yeah, goodbye. Goodbye.